War is often described as hell, but it's also a source of powerful storytelling. Some of the finest films ever crafted revolve around military conflicts. In today's video, we will discuss 10 best war movies on Hulu. Quanti terroristi ci sono? Number 10 on our list is Search and Destroy, directed by Danny Lerner and released in 2020. This film revolves around John Cutter, an American ranger who finds himself caught in a web of moral dilemmas and false accusations after failing to rescue a captive family from enemy forces. His adversary, Ukrainian arms dealer Igor Rodin, becomes his fiercest foe, resulting in the loss of his entire crew and his dismissal from the army. However, Cutter's quest for a peaceful life is short-lived when his former boss offers him a chance for revenge against Igor, a proposition he eagerly accepts. Search and Destroy delivers intense aerial action, explosive storytelling. Red Tails Sky. The adversity to, to the stars. stars From the last plane To the last bullet To the last minute To the last man we fight, we fight. We fight. We fight. Number 9 on our list is Red Tails Directed by Anthony Hemingway and released in 2012, this spectacular film is inspired by true events from World War II. It delves into the challenging backdrop of the U.S. Air Force's struggles in Europe during the war, where soldiers faced immense hardships and danger. In the midst of this turmoil, 13 African-American pilots are recruited as the Tuskegee Airmen, tasked with fighting against formidable odds. Come on, Junior! Fail! Initially, these skilled black pilots faced discrimination and were deemed unequal to their white counterparts. However, under the leadership of Cuba Gooding Jr.'s character, they proved their worth and heroism, challenging the prejudices of the time. Hell hath no fury. Piece of that gold. We got a deal? No more deals. At number 8. We have Hell Hath No Fury, a World War II thriller released in 2021 and directed by Gonzalo Lopez Gallego. This film tells the true story of Marie du Jordan, a French woman with a complicated history. Marie was involved with a Nazi officer named von Bruckner but was also accused of being a traitor. When American soldiers rescue her, they make a deal. In exchange for her safety, she must help them locate Nazi gold hidden in a cemetery. Despite being pursued relentlessly by both the Nazis and the French resistance, Marie agrees to assist in finding the gold to save her life. As the story unfolds, Gold here, Marie. Viva France! Damn! The movie explores the strain on the soldiers' relationships and their inner turmoil as the darkness of war deepens. The last full measure. The bloodiest battles of the Vietnam War. Everybody down! An entire company nearly wiped out. We are taking fire! Number seven on our list is The Last Full Measure, directed by Todd Robinson and released in 2020. This film is a moving and powerful war drama based on a true story. It follows the decades-long quest to recognize the heroic actions of Air Force pararescue medic William Pitsenbarger, who saved over 60 men during the Vietnam War but was denied the Medal of Honor. The movie delves into the efforts of Pentagon staffer Scott Huffman. Lord came. His name is Pitts. Pitts saved lives. We put him up for the Medal of Honor who investigates the case and uncovers the courage and sacrifice of Pitts and Barger and the soldiers he saved. The Last Full Measure is a heartfelt tribute to valor and the unwavering commitment to honor those who have served. Shadow in the Cloud Welcome back to the party, baby! Number 6 on our list is Shadow in the Cloud. Directed by Rosen Leong and released in 2020, this thrilling film is set during World War II and stars Chloe Grace Moritz as Flight Officer Maud Garrett. Maud is on a mission to transport sensitive documents from New Zealand to Samoa on board a B-17 Flying Fortress. However, her presence is met with skepticism and hostility from the all-male crew, who relegate her to the ball turret. As the tension rises, 
A terrifying and deadly presence in the clouds forces Maud and the crew to confront their fears and the unknown threat. Regularity started with that package. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> you have no idea how far I'll go! How did you get up here? Shadow in the Cloud delivers intense suspense and action in the confined space of the aircraft, creating a heart-pounding wartime tale with a supernatural twist. Retrograde. Um. Number 5 on our list is Retrograde, a documentary that intimately captures the nine crucial months of the Afghan war. This hunting film tells the story from the perspective of the U.S. Green Berets and the Afghan general and his corps who stood tall to defend their homeland as the Taliban threatened to take over. In the backdrop of Afghanistan's devastation after the 20-year-long U.S. involvement. Grow old in Afghanistan and ultimately die in Afghanistan. Retrograde sheds light on the soldiers' struggles and the emotional toll of the war, highlighting moments often overlooked, such as the faces of retiring soldiers, civilians fleeing in fear, and troops facing an uncertain future as they withdraw. Quo Vadis Aida Number 4 on our list is Quo Vadis Aida. Directed by Jismilas Banik and released in 2021, this sympathetic and compelling film paints a vivid portrait of Aida, a UN translator in the besieged town of Srebrenica. Her role is to interpret codes, but her primary concern is shielding her family from the horrors of war. When the Serbian army overruns their town, Aida's family, like thousands of others, seeks refuge in the UN camp. In the face of impossible choices between family, humanity, and her own survival, Quo Vadis, Aida, exposes the complex trials endured by women during wartime. <laughs> This gripping portrayal explores the profound impact of choices made under duress, leaving lasting scars, and forces us to ponder whether it's better to fight for rescue or surrender to the face of death. Mafi. Number three on our list is Mafi a biographical war drama directed by Oliver Hermanus and released in 2020. Set in 1981 South Africa during the Angolan War, the film revolves around Nicholas van der Swart, who faces a challenging coming-of-age journey while serving his mandatory two years in the military. Nicholas, aware of his difference from a young age, attempts to avoid trouble, but he becomes a target for bullying and ridicule due to his sexuality, considered an illness at the time. When he forms a relationship with another recruit, their lives are put in grave danger. It's like a handsome, huh? Cause I'm tired of Mafi offers a cathartic exploration of the brutality faced by queer men during this period, with its title derived from a dehumanizing homophobic slur. Bless me, Ultima. A witch! I'll find a way! I'll kill ya! Number two on our list is Bless Me Ultima, a coming-of-age tale directed by Carl Franklin and released in 2013. The film centers on Antonio, a young boy growing up in post-World War II New Mexico, grappling with the complexities of good and evil. His life takes a profound turn when he forges an unexpected bond with Ultima, a pagan grandmother with mystical abilities. Based on Rudolfo Anaya's 1972 novel, the movie explores themes of spirituality, tradition, and the responsibilities of the younger generation. It is alive, like all things, the trees, the rocks, the river. In a land haunted by old violence, Bless Me, Ultima pays homage to the strength of faith and community, celebrating the enduring legacy of tradition in the face of change. 12 Strong I am your biggest gun, Cap. The only way home is winning. At number one, we have 12 Strong, a film that takes us into the early days of the war in Afghanistan. This gripping tale follows U.S. Captain Mitch Nelson, who, after volunteering for the mission, 
leads Oda 595 alongside the veteran soldier CW5 Hal Spencer. After 23 days of continuous warfare, Nelson and his 12 soldiers returned safely to their hometown, forging newfound friendships along the way. Hey. I made her a promise. I'm coming home. What sets this movie apart is the astonishing fact that these soldiers fought on horseback against the Taliban. Notably, Chris Hemsworth and Michael Shannon deliver standout performances, supported by a fantastic cast in this 2018 film. That's it guys. If you like this video, kindly give it a thumbs up and make sure to like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.